Welcome back everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in and take a look at the uh, Polygon Matic weekly analysis, and remember this is for edutainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. Additionally, when you find value at any time during this video, feel free to smash that like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you're not haven't been subscribed yet, and uh Feel free to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Let's dig in and uh, take a look at the news first. Uh, there's an article on the uh, dailyhodl.com that talked about Guy, um, who is a YouTuber. He mentioned the uh, this uh, cell pressure from the uh, Polygon Foundation that could stall or depress uh, Maddox price. And... Um, that could be uh, an issue because um, there's, uh, there was a lot of issuance and I think they're, uh, they're going to use that to sell to uh, fund some um, projects. So you might want to give that um, a read. I'll post the link in my Twitter version of this um, video. So check it out. So let's dig in and take a look at the chart. We'll need the mouse highlighter here we go so matic prints the second um, bearish um, second consecutive bearish candle uh, right uh, to the right of the previous week's candle it's hard to see it here but it's really tiny and um, it's just the top of this current uh, weekly candle is just barely touching the bottom of the bull market support band here at um, um, and th the current price is 165 roughly, at least when I did this chart. Right now it's 164. Um, and the current candle is just above the red horizontal line, solid line here. That's the highest uh, volume traded price area, uh, zone level. And the, the bottom of the wick of this candle touched um, that line. So it's looking sl slightly bearish two weeks in a row. Um, Matic hasn't been back inside the uh, bull market support band for 11 weeks. Um, the bull market support band has this gray ribbon here. Has been a strong resistance. And it looks like it's still resisting. The... Um, uh, let's see. It, it looks like it's squeezing between the um, this highly traded uh, volume level, price level, and also the bull, bull, uh, bull market support band here. Uh, more than likely, oh, in the next the, the for the remainder of this week or next week, it could pierce through this uh, highly traded volume price line here, and it'll probably drop below. Uh, the cur uh, the bull market, uh, sorry, the Bollinger band. Is um, is the tops right here, and that is uh, roughly two sixty four, and the bottom is one right here is one o three one o four, and the middle or the base is the Bollinger Band is right here, and that's roughly one eighty three, and the current candle is just it's just below uh, the middle basis line, which is also shared with the uh, bull market support band. A volume, as you can see, uh, current candle is very weak. Um, last week's uh, ca candle put in slightly higher volume than um, the, dimin the uh, diminishing volume here, just slightly uh, there. But overall, it's been diminishing for uh, like what? Um, I think 12 weeks or so. I think. Yeah, 11 weeks. 11 weeks. And it's way below the. Uh, the um, moving average. Uh, let's take a look at the um, white KDJ line here. You can see that it came up, rounded the top, and uh, slightly going sideways almost. It's um, at 56.97 above the blue K and the red D lines there. And uh, all three are just jutting just slightly upward. More than likely, they'll round off, go flat, and start curving down. Uh, down below the white MACD line um, round, found the bottom 
went flat and then started curving slightly up towards the uh, descending uh, red signal line here and the white lines are currently at negative uh, 0 0.0155 and uh, I gave the MACD a bear because it's bearish here and oh I forgot the uh, KDJ I gave that a bull and a crab it's bullish because it's trending slightly up but more than likely it's going to go horizontal so it's going to turn into a crab the red RSI line here it uh, it's trending slightly down, sloping down here at 48.61. Uh, give that a bear and a crab because it's trending down and more than likely it's going to go somewhat sideways. The aqua CVD lines, similar situation there. It's sloping down slightly at 168.22 uh, million. Give that a bear and a crab. The white momentum indicator here has been going up uh, for four weeks in a row and then uh, suddenly flexes, um, flips horizontally um, at 0 0.0439 and I gave that a crab. So what what is this chart saying? Um, basically it's going to con continue to consolidate sideways with cell pressure and that's going to create a more bearish undertone. So um, that's what I expected to do, crabbing sideways and then pressure going down potentially breaking this uh, red line here at the uh, highest traded uh, volume price level and that's why I gave it two crabs and a bear um, entry prices you uh, may be interested in again this is for edutainment only not financial advice uh, one dollar and 47 cents would be a good FOMO level at 20 percent uh, of your budget uh, of the budget and $1.40 would be a good sweet spot for 50% of the budget. Uh, $1 would be 20 uh, at $1, 20% of the budget. And uh, at $0.64, cents, 10 10% 10 of the budget. And the reason, it may not get down to $1 one, uh, or uh, $0.64, cents, but it's always good to have some dry powder waiting for um, those crashes that wick all the way down. And so you can catch it. Let's take a look at some um, other charts. Here's the heat map. We got sell walls above and buy walls below. Um, a big, uh, decent sized sell wall at three dollars at two fifty, and we have a bunch of medium sized ones: two forty, two thirty, two twenty, two ten, two dollars, one ninety, one eighty. Basically spaced apart by ten cents. Down we below we have um, decent organic uh, buy orders here that is very light blue here but the major buy walls are roughly right here and this is around 1 145 150 uh, right around there and then we got a smaller one at a dollar and 65 cents and a big giant wall at 40 cents so you can see where some of these walls are unfortunately high block uh, capital does not have liquidation um, level registered i'm not sure why i'll i'll check with them um, but there's currently nothing shown here you can see here zero uh, zero shorts and zero long levels and for the uh, total uh, value value locked for uh, polygon matic um, in the last seven days it's gone up 3.11 percent uh, one month change it went up 28.07 percent total tvl is uh, 4.77 billion and the uh, market cap to uh, TVL ratio is 2.38255. Remember, the lower the ratio, the better. For example, Phantom has the best ratio for that. And this 2.38 is roughly kind of um, uh, better than average. So let's take, I think that's about it. Yeah, and we're back to uh, the main chart. This is my last video for today. I appreciate your time. Sorry, it's, little, uh, it's late coming. I had a lot to do uh, today. So take care. Have a fantastic night. Remember, smash that like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I'll leave a comment, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for another video. Peace.